this Friday, the second I stop taping Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, I'm gonna run to JFK Airport and I'm gonna fly to Tennessee. We will have our own private jam session for five hours. We'll take a dinner break, and dinner break is basically me running to the Bonnaroo set to do my show. And then as soon as my show is over, I'm gonna hightail it back to rehearsal. It's gonna be my favorite moment, the first five minutes of that show, because no one knows who's jamming. You mean tonight? I have no idea who's gonna play with this tonight. No one has any idea. Like, anyone that's ever been a fan of this, like, I want to tell them so bad, but I can't, you know, I, I cannot wait to see the world's reaction when I just say, simply, for the first time in 12 years on American stage, T. Angela. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> I will travel hell in high water to make sure that this goes down, so. Lord, in the spirit of nervousness or anxiousness, let that be good energy for the people. And let's revisit the magic we had 12 years ago to make future magic. That's what we need, man. Love y'all, man. Amen. Tonight's a very, very special night. What I'm gonna do is take you guys back. This is a time machine. So, uh, I've been waiting 12 years to say this. Ladies and gentlemen, D'Angelo. This is my third Super Jam, kind of having an unplanned magic moment with uh, colleagues and peers. The Super Jam is sort of born out of the New Orleans tradition. It's a special show where uh, artists from a, a bunch of different bands play together in a one-time only configuration. All-star group doing some, stepping outside their comfort zone and doing something that's probably never going to happen in the exact same way again. Um, the first time I did the Super Jam with Herbie Hancock, Pina Palladino, we literally winged it. Like, we met three minutes before, and we were just like, we're following your lead. Me and Amir had talked before the event about what kind of Herbie tunes we knew, but when we arrived, well, we met Herbie and told him the tunes that we knew, and he went, oh, no, we're just going to jam. So that's really what it was, you know. And that's the spirit of, of this whole thing, I think. The second time I did Super Jam, John Paul Jones of Led Zeppelin and Ben Harper, we were doing Zeppelin songs, and there's such a pressure to live up to the legacy of John Bonham's. Like, I had to prove if the myth was true, if, like, I was a worthy drummer that people had heard about, you know? So I think for the most part, I passed the test. Westlove is just a prolific artist, just a prolific musician. You know, he's somebody with just so much vision, and so much soul, and so much passion, and so steeped in the classics. I reached out to him and gauged what his interest was to do a project like this with us for this year's Bonnaroo, and I said, what ideas do you have? And uh, he immediately had big ideas. The 